Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So, Libra, it is time for October round two reading. I'm kind of intrigued as to what's going to come out in the cards for you today. Mostly because I'm a Libra rising, but you know. <laughs> Anywho, this reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey and I'm on. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign reading if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, okay, this isn't necessarily for cross watchers, Libro. Um, this is where we go over, I'm doing a new spread, by the way, just throwing that out there, where we go over you and your strengths and weaknesses and your wants and what you need to do to achieve what you want, what's got to go, what might be coming in, you know, all that stuff. But if a cross watcher can take something out of it, hey, that's cool. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, so place yourself wherever you see fit. All things can and maybe vice versa. Okay. If you're new here, cool. Welcome. If you think we're going to vibe, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. I'm going to be uploading a lot in the month of October. Just throwing that out there. November, I still a little sketch. I don't know. I'm still working on the schedule for November, but I got some stuff going on. So, oh, wow. Fool and judgment flew out for you. Hmm. That's extremely interesting. And the camera's getting a little skippy, so. Maybe somebody's starting something new, making a final judgment call on some mold. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I appreciate you coming to visit. Everybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel and it all helps the video get circulated to the people who need the message the most. So, without further ado, before I invoke the cards, two quick things. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And two, if it's not your message on the table, just leave it on the table and walk away. It's not always going to be your message. This is pretty general. At least I try to make it as general as possible. Sometimes I just fall down that rabbit hole and I'm just making a card salad on the table. But, you know, you know, I try not to. I, I'm getting better about that. So, okay. Let's do it. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you ever. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For October round two. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to clearly and accurately bring Libra to their highest possible spiritual good. And put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Libra, the king of cups reversed. Why am I overwhelmed by the sudden feeling of sadness and dread? Okay, so a complete emotional closing off. I think you've just done run out of give a shit. Oh my god, okay. Um, what's your strengths? Two of cups. Hmm. What's your weakness? The Wheel of Fortune. Why do I have a feeling that some of you may uh, may have some stacked up karma? Oh boy. Okay. What do you want? Eight of Cups. You want to be able to move on from something that explains this. Okay. What's got to go? Three of Cups. Third party situation. 
It's making sense now. What's coming in? Nine of Pentacles. What do you got to do? Seven of Cups reversed. What's the outcome? King of Wands reversed. I feel like this is an outcome that we need to avoid. This is staying stuck in a complete loss of passion. I feel like somebody, this just got real specific real quick, but I'm going to roll with it anyway, because somebody's going to need a message. Somebody needs to step out of confusion. All right, we're getting clarity. Libra, why does this look like a hot mess? Why does this look like a hot mess? Why y'all got to give me a hot mess to sort out? Mm -hmm. They don't want to shuffle. And just, come on, let us play. Come on, let us play. Mm. They're ready. Oh, they're ready. Oh, they're ready. All right, I already know what this means. We're not even going to address that. You've emotionally closed yourself off. What's this two of cups about for your strengths, Libra? Three of Pentacles. You cooperate well. When you got something, you hold on to it. And that can be a strength. Indeed, that can be a strength. You cooperate well. You do well. You bond well in a cohesive unit. You hang on to it. What's this Wheel of Fortune about for the weakness? Well, damn. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't hang on to things long, do you? Some of you do not hang on to things long. This is an amazing strength. <sighs> All right, one more. This feels very self-sabotaging. Five of swords. All or nothing. All or nothing. Oh my god, now Westlife's playing in my head. Is that Westlife? Yeah. Is that Westlife? It's it's like a 90s band. Late 90s, early 2000s. Because I want it all. Or nothing at all. There's no one left to fall when you reach the bottom. It's now or never. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the band now. I'm, I used to be a singer. It's a long story. It's not my strong suit anymore. Um, throw another one on that. Eight of Cups. Wow. That's the weakness. It's all or nothing at all. And if you don't get it all, you move on. That's a weakness. Emotionally just close yourself off to it because you're just moving on to the next cup. All right. Okay. 
So, speaking of which, what's this Eight of Cups about for what you want? You want to move on from something. Shadow side, you want to move on from something that you are tightly bound to. Potentially something toxic. One more. Hangman, something you're hung up on. Something you're up in the gallows about. This just got real, real dark night of the soul. This isn't emotionally closed off. You're a blubbering freaking mess right now. Take it however it resonates. Place yourself wherever you see fit. Some of you have emotionally closed yourself off to it completely. Some of you are just a hot mess. Why is the three of cups here for what's got to go? Why is the three of cups here for what's got to go? Ten of cups. Reverse. One more. Ace of pentacles. Some of this, this could be third party. And I'm not saying necessarily that somebody got cheated on. It's not what I'm saying. It's not what I'm saying at all. A third party is anything that interferes with a connection. It's an outside force. That's all it is. And it's got to go because you're not happy. I'm going to say some pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords. New start in abundance, something equal. See how this is uneven? It's uneven. It's too many people. There's too many people here. This is more equal. Sometimes the Page of Swords tells you stuff you don't want to hear. So he's in the upright, so he's not just hanging back watching. He's speaking. Magician. Magician reversed. So there's an outside force pulling puppet strings in this shit, and it's something that's got to go. I feel like some of you may have some friends that just kind of like jabber in your ear. It's kind of jabber in your ear. Get all up in your business. Specifically, when you get into a relationship and you see something that you want to hold on to, I feel like somebody puts a bug in your ear and fills you full of self-doubt and self-defeating bullshit, they should be giving you more. Well, it's all or nothing, so I'm just going to walk away. You're hung up on something. You're hung up on something that you're bound to. It's got you all up in a hot mess. Something got to go here. All the people getting all up in your business, got to go. If you want a new start and something abundant, You want happiness? You want equality? You want honesty? This bullshit got to go. People up in here messing with your shit. It's got to go. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for what's coming in? Five. <laughs> oh, why wow, you got to make me bad news, Betty? You know what? 
sometimes it's what you need. Just to fly solo and enjoy being single. It's going to get a little cold. It's going to get a little lonely. But it's going to... It's going to balance you out. I'm not saying dip and ditch on every friend you have. That's not what I'm saying. It's not what I'm saying. Dip and ditch on the people who do nothing but put self-defeating thoughts in your head. Who mess up in your business. What do you got to do? Seven of Cups reversed. The Hermit. You got to alleviate confusion in your life. You got to go inside. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of, Ace of Wands came out. She can stand alone. She's abundant of her own right. She don't put up with any else's bullshit. She don't. This is a person who does not let outside forces influence her. That's what you got to do. You got to go inside. Passionate new star going after what you want. You have... Uh, I'm going to throw one more on that. That feels so secluded. Whoa. Seven of Wands. The star showed itself to me. Okay. So that's the one I'm going to take. Coming into your own. Defeating the demons in your head. Defeating those self-defeating thoughts. Healing. And sometimes healing requires solitude. And that's okay. Solitude don't last forever. It don't. But you got to go inside and figure out what you want. I call it quieting the voices. Making the noise stop. People and their opinions, it's noise. It's noise. Make the noise stop. The noise got to go, Libra. The noise has got to go. Page of Cups decided to come out without intention. I'm going to put it back in. Some of you could have a new offer coming in. What's this King of Wands reversed about? chariot and the ace of cups that feels like the avoidance of the king of wands reverse the king of wands reverse is stuck and ain't moving if you make the noise stop you allow the healing to come in allow that solitude Make the noise stop. You ride that chariot to your ace of cups, baby. One more on that. Then we're going to call it. Okay, I'll take two. Nine of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Regaining balance, knowing that you're good on your own. Because once you're good on your own, once you're good on your own, good things can come in. But you gotta make the freaking noise stop. 
Bottom of the deck, nine of cups. That's beautiful. You hit this once you get rid of this and you get rid of this. Then you can get this. And this ain't this anymore. It's this. Damn! Isn't that cool how that works? Cool how that works. Mm. Not that you need advice, but <laughs> we're going to throw it down anyway. The Page of Pentacles and the Hermits. Once you go inside and you sort things out for yourself and you make the noise stop and the self-defeating bullshit and you find the light upon your own path, look at what comes in. Emperor reversed, five of swords. Yeah, you got to step away from that self-defeating energy. To you regain control of you, your empire, your life, your path, your journey, it's just... Five of Cups, Five of Wands reversed. It's not easy walking away from people. It's not. It brings about great sadness. But is the drama worth it? Are they really good for you? If all they do is cause drama. I've had to walk the walk, y'all. I've had to. I have had to disconnect from people that were no good for me. And it sucked and it hurt. But if there's people surrounding you in your energy that are doing you absolutely no good except going up in your business, is it worth the drama? Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Go toward your abundance, Libra. Do what is best for you. Know that you're loved and be blessed. I will catch you in your next reading, friends.